everyone, this is Sophie Rowland and my mummy has a layout to show you. So that was my daughter. She really wanted to get in on the uh, action of recording a video, so I let her do my intro. So anyway, this is Nikki Rowland and I have a layout today for Lottie Loves Paper and I am using this fabulous sketch uh, for this week's sketch challenge. Um, so I'm just bringing the sketch up there um, on my phone um, and I'm using the really super duper fabulous uh, Kate and Ash collection by Simple Stories. Um, so I have a girly layout to do today, so this is a photo of me and my Sophie who was at the beginning of this recording um, and uh, I'm really determined to use lots of pattern on this uh, layout. So the sketch has like a block of pattern at the top and a big white space at the bottom. Well I've flipped it, I'm doing it the other way around and I'm going for the white space at the top and the pattern at the bottom. But actually I'm using the full sheet of that uh, lovely yellow polka dot um, and I've just cut a small piece of white to go at the top. Now the sketch kind of is a bit lower, it's probably around halfway but I've only got uh, I think it's about a four inch strip at the top. So I have moved the whole sketch up ever so slightly. Um, and uh, I'm just using this photo of me and my girlie and I'm just I'm just mounting that on a black and white gingham paper that was in the collection. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I've just mounted that on there to stress the edges. And then I'm going to embellish um, along the line of the, the uh, not the gap, I want to say gap, it's not gap, the line where the white meets the yellow. Um, so um, that's the line where all of the embellishments are going um, on this uh, sketch. Um, so uh, so yeah, so I'm just going to kind of work things um, around that. So just going to stick to the sketch fairly um, fairly well. Uh, so I've gone for the title Besties, um, that was on the Simple Stories, Kate and Ash, um, foam titles um, and uh, yeah it's really they've got some really lovely fonts on those uh, title sets um, some are really cool retro fonts thick letters multicolored others are this kind of script font in black uh, with these lovely words so uh, yeah I've chosen a title from there and I've positioned that to the left of my photo as per the sketch. Um, now over on the right hand side, the photo, actually the sketch has two photos on it, but I've only used one. So I had to, I wanted to put something over on the right hand side. Um, I wanted to use that word fab uh, that's in a box, um, but it wouldn't fit with my photo right anchored over to the right. So I moved everything over to the left a little bit. So that's just a good way um, of adapting the sketch slightly if uh, you only have the one photo. So behind my photo, um, I've added some little journaling bits from one of the ephemera packs and then I have the word fab that's going to stick over my photo slightly. I have some other layers behind that as well. Um, so I just wanted to give the effect of having lots of um, layers built up really. So I've got um, the journaling um, block if you like behind the photo sticking out to the right and then there's another square to the right as well and then there's the word fab and I am going to add some more bits there as well um, and then over on the left um, behind the photo I've added a cactus well this photo was taken in Lanzarote there are cactuses or cacti everywhere literally everywhere so uh, all cactuses cacti go well on this layout all good um, so I've added one there and then I've just been going through the ephemera packs to see what else I can use that goes well with this layout um, the photo that I'm using um, so I just pulled out a few bits that I can probably use so not loads of stuff but quite a few bits um, and uh, I've still got to go through the sticker sheet too <laughs> um, but through the bits that I've already looked at um, I've already pulled out all of those pieces of ephemera uh, to use so um, so yeah I'm just going to kind of add them in now to go along I've added a chipboard car top left um, that we don't we don't have a car like that but <laughs> um, we got to this restaurant by car, so does that count? Um, it's a cute car in a cute colour, so I'm going for it. And it's great because there's a line for it to sit on, so it looks like it was born to be there. Um, so I've added that in there. And then I've added some arrows uh, pointing towards my photo under the word besties. And um, then I have a gap between the car and the arrow, so I need to put something there. Um, so And then I really love this um, banner 
flag banner that was on the sticker sheet so I've pulled that out and I'm wondering if this layout is too busy to put it in to will it show up it needs to go on white um, but actually it's gone onto the yellow and it actually looks quite nice it looks a little bit flat to begin with but then I've popped it up on foam pads and it looks much much better so um, I'm happy with uh, with how that looks um, I then just added in the words hey girl that was a piece of ephemera I believe um, and then over on the right I've got a the word p uh, a heart a, a red heart with the word pizza in it well we were out for dinner um, at a restaurant we didn't have pizza but <laughs> but uh, it was fast food so it's fine right um, and uh, and we do love pizza so it's all good um, and then I put some feathers underneath it kind of to look as though um, almost like a spray of flowers but feathers look like they're hanging down from the line um, and uh, I'm just keeping going adding some bits in so that um, heart that I'm doing at the moment is a circle with kind of a animal print in black and then the heart in the middle in red um, and I just stressed the edges um, but it just still didn't look right so I added some black paint to the edge of that circle and it looks a million times better you know it just gives it an outline it looks a lot better um, so then I can put that in and I've already put in the black circle above that that says sassy um, and so yeah I'm just continuing to kind of piece things in add bits here and there I've got some little labels uh, from the ephemera one says happy one says so cute and one says sweet so I'm just distressing the edges of those and getting those in place as well. Um, then I have a little mix tape. Um, my daughter doesn't even know what a cassette tape is. <laughs> so I've tucked it in behind the car and the bride besties um, with just the my playlist showing at the top because she definitely understands the playlist but the cassette tape not so much so um, a bit of a retro icon there and then I have ice cream over on the over by the photo as well um, so that um, goes well with our meal that we had out that night um, and uh, yeah I'm just carrying on adding things down sticking things um, in place um, and um, yeah just there's so much of this collection that is easy to use um, and and lovely really um, so um, so yeah uh, just just piling it on I have to stop myself from piling on too much because otherwise I'll end up with such a busy layout that you can't see anything but the temptation is there because all the things in this collection are really lovely and easy to use um, so yeah um, okay so I've got the little chipboard sticker at the top that says you are beautiful and then I have the two little text speak uh, icons with hearts in them over on the left hand side um, I'm just adding now in some brads so these are real metal brads not adhesive ones real ones which you poke through the paper so I've added um, one with eyelashes under the word fab and then I'm adding three more a pink one, a black one and a yellow one to some of the polka dots just to bring the design down towards the bottom edge a little bit. Um, that doesn't necessarily represented, that's not necessarily represented on the sketch but um, I like it to do that. If there was a little cluster at the bottom that would be a good way of kind of meeting the two together. Um, and just handwriting in my um, journaling that just uh, says I love spending time with my girly we enjoy the same things and have to stick together with so many boys around um, so uh, yeah so it's um, just a ge general generic photo really so it was nice to write something about that I love spending time with her which most of the time I do <laughs> not always but most of the time um, and that is me done um, off camera I added some gold twiddles of thread because I forgot them um, and that is it it's finished um, so this was a really super quick layout easy to put together thank you so very much for joining me today don't forget to check out the Kate and Ash collection over at the Lottie Loves Paper shop um, okay that was Nikki Rowland for Lottie Loves Paper